Hey, it's Hawking with Top Don. We're just gonna do a quick video here to show you. Some of the newer vehicles you encounter may have DOIP, which is Diagnosis Over Internet Protocol. So we're just gonna show you, if you're using the Phoenix Light 3, or you are using the Phoenix Elite, these particular tools may require a special DOIP adapter cable. So we're gonna show you what that looks like and walk you through the process. Okay, so since we are encountering newer cars now that use Diagnosis Over Internet Protocol, or DOIP, we're just gonna walk you through two different cables that you can use with the Phoenix Light 3, as well as the Phoenix Elite. So basically what we've got is just a standard ethernet to USB adapter plugged into the port here on the top of the tool. And then we've got an ethernet cable plugged in right here. That goes over to this cable here, and this is where the ethernet port is plugged into the cable. This is usually considered the BMW F and G chassis adapter, which is also a DOIP adapter that will work on other brands such as Jaguar Land Rover. Uh, here, the dongle for the tool is plugged in to this cable. And then here is where we plug into the data link connector on the vehicle. So again, USB to ethernet adapter from the tool ethernet cable ethernet cable goes to the adapter cable for the vci and here is what we plug directly into the obd port on the vehicle so that's one cable you can use for doip with the phoenix light 3 or the phoenix elite this may also work on other tools however this video is specifically for the light 3 and the elite Okay, so now we're gonna show you the other version of the cable. So in this version of the cable, it is USB. The cable follows down here and connects right here to this adapter cable. This adapter cable also connects to the VCI. And then additionally, here is the port for the OBD connection. So again, USB cable into the port here on the top of the light three. Cable goes all the way down here into the adapter. Then the adapter plugs into the VCI here. And then this plugs into the OBD port on the vehicle. So that is the second cable that will work specifically with the Light 3 or the Elite for DOIP communication. Again, it may be compatible with additional top-down tools. But again, this video was primarily designed for the Light 3 and the Elite. All right, so we got the Phoenix Light 3 here. We're gonna go ahead and hit auto scan and we're gonna go automatically search. And here's the vehicle we're connected to. It's a 22 Land Rover. We're gonna go here and we see the notice, DOIP is being requested. So when we see this notice, we're gonna to wanna to use the DOIP adapter cable. And we'll show you what that cable looks like. You can use the F chassis cable that comes with uh, the tool for BMW. You can also use an additional cable we have here which is USB at one end, and then your dongle plugs into this other end here, and then the other end of the cable plugs into the data link connector. So we'll get it set up here and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so we are back at the vehicle now and we've got our cable connected here. And you can see down here, we've got the cable connected uh, here to the dongle and then connected to the data link connector. And we're going to go ahead and scan the vehicle. And it's going to ask us the DOIP question one more time. Or maybe it won't since we have a cable. Okay, so there's the ID. Here is the request for DOIP. So we've got everything connected. We also are connected to internet, which of course is necessary. We're going to hit OK. And now we're going to go ahead and scan the vehicle. So we'll give it a moment. Okay, so after we selected DOIP, of course we have good internet. And you can see right there, there's our Wi-Fi signal. We've got the specialized cable connected, and now we're ready to go ahead and fully scan the vehicle. So we're going to hit the Smart Scan button, and we're going to let the, the uh, tool do all of the scanning. Okay, so as you can see, we were successful in scanning the entire vehicle, and now we can generate a report and, of course, proceed with any other tasks we need to do. All right, so I just want to say thanks for watching our video here, just showing you how to connect to a DOIP, or Diagnosis Over Internet Protocol, using a Phoenix Light 3, you can also do this with the Phoenix Elite. If you have any other tool where you're having DOIP connection issues, of course, you can also try this cable. So thanks again for watching the video. As always, I'm Hawking with Top Don. We'll see you next time.